everyone, today is February 11th and today I am bringing you along to Legoland, Florida. Legoland has invited me out for a full preview of their brand new water sports show starring Brickbeard that starts tomorrow, February 12th. We're gonna talk about some of the cool things coming up here at Legoland, what's new and what's coming and have a fun day, so come on. We're headed straight back to the Cypress Gardens area towards the ski show. As I'm getting closer, I'm seeing the little arrows pointing me towards Brickbeard's water stunt show. We made it to Pirate's Cove. Ski shows on the water have been a part of Legoland since it was Cypress Gardens. This is a historic thing that I am so glad they're keeping, but modernizing for current audiences and freshening it up. It's not just a ski show anymore, it's a water stunt show. Made it, we got a spot here, pretty close to the front, but also in the shade. And so we'll be able to get a big grand picture of everything that happens. Today we're gonna get a full run through of the show before it opens to the public tomorrow. Tomorrow it'll be showing at noon, 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. And from then on the schedule will be on the website and it'll be running here as the brand new water show. Three, two, one. Gotta love a good flame test. It's testing day, students, and we get to showcase some of the finest water stunts this side of the seven seas. You see, the first rule of pirates, you field rats, no spray, no pay. And here on this lake, if there's no spray, no way do they make me crude. So, Take your seats and sharpen them swords because class begins at Brickbeard Stunt School in just five minutes. I'm sitting pretty close to the stage and I don't know if that means I'm gonna get splashed, but I'm mentally prepared to possibly get splashed today. I don't know, I feel like in previous shows you got a little splashed if you were too close. I can always move back, <laughs> there's not too many pros behind me just in case. Oh, you see those cannons right there? They splash out. Usually, usually out. Ladies, Brickbeard here. Welcome to the most notorious pirate training academy in the seven seas. Me all. This year we are at Oi! Get up there, hello! You got a test today. Is everybody in ship shape? Yeah! But I hope you're ready. You've got a big boat step in if you want to impress Captain Brickbeard. You all studied last night, right? You haven't studied. Have you at least been practicing? You're gonna practice right now? Lads, I don't think you can how important it is to impress Captain Brickbeard. Fine, don't listen to me. Wait, no! Oh. <laughs> Very fine. Oh, <laughs> Perfect. But you know what? Why don't we give them a round of applause for thinking on the speed, guys? Yes! Yes! 
Kill. What is the meaning of this? Oh, baby, you're pardoned. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this here is our first mate, our fierce leader. Please give it up for Capital J. Please tell me those weren't our students. Nope, not on my watch. Those students will be ready for testing today. Do I make myself clear? No quarter given. Wait, no kill the red flag. That was so what scary. Are you doing? <laughs> I have no clue. Now I get what the Oh, wait! And he's on a board. Yeah, she's on a wakeboard. <laughs> that's fantastic, though. Wow! Oh, that's not uh -huh. an angry agent. That there be the sky ski. Ooh, I got it. He's on the edge of his seat. Is he a new student? Nah, he's a bench warmer for the board and team. <laughs> Look over here. That harkens back to like the original ski shows at Cypress Gardens. Are they ready for their final? 
your takes. Aye, aye, Captain. I have no doubt that our students will sweep you off your foot. I suppose. <laughs> you can bet your booty on it. Ah, I do have fantastic booty. It's rather ample, Captain. A very large booty indeed. <laughs> Here comes the broadside team! Show and outside at the port. That be to your left. <laughs> 
And to celebrate this graduation, a pyro cannon salute. Ha <laughs> I love being a pirate. Fire at will! No! Just pull the director. <laughs> I love being a pirate. Fire! Well, that was a lot of fun, and I especially liked the homages to the classic water ski shows of Cypress Gardens, those beautiful formations that they do. They keep that sort of history alive, and a huge part of what this area was, what Cypress Gardens was before Legoland. I really love that they preserve that heritage, and then they bring in all the new fun stuff, and I mean, like, who doesn't love pirates? I think that kids and adults of all ages are going to love this show because whether you have any knowledge of the Cypress Gardens history here, it doesn't matter. It's still a beautiful show, but if you do, that little extra touch really, I mean, it, it gets you right in the feels. Kids are gonna love it. The characters are so much fun. And you can sit under the awning in the shade to sort of escape the heat a little bit. Outside of the show, there's this photo op, and you know I gotta take it. Let's see if I can perform any stunts. Like these, you know, if I can be a pirate student at least. I think at best, a student. At worst, like the students in the beginning of the show. I know I've brought up Cypress Gardens a few times, but for those of you who don't know, the land that Legoland is on, that was a lot of lands, is the former Cypress Gardens. Cypress Gardens was famous for their Southern Bells and for their ski show. And that's why this new show is so important, keeping that spirit alive and keeping it fresh for new audiences. And since we're here in the back of the park in the beautiful Cypress Gardens area, let's take a quick stroll through and then grab something to eat. These beautiful lawns used to be lined with Southern Bells greeting guests, and now they've got Lego Southern Bells. And I just think that is super cool. What I really love about the Cypress Gardens area of the park is how quiet and peaceful it is completely separate from the rest of the park, which I also love. It's just two different, different things. But I always come back to this area to say hi and admire this beautiful banyan tree. This sprawling banyan tree was planted as a seedling in 19... 39. There's a sign here that states this majestic banyan was brought to the Cypress Gardens by Dick and Julie Pope in 1936. The website says it was planted in 1939, I believe. So I'm not sure what that situation is, but in the 30s, let's just say it's been here since the 30s. Banyans have a hanging root system which will become the support pillars for the branches as the tree grows. And we can see the support pillars are like their own structures. It's amazing. The landscape back here harkens back to Florida's natural landscape, which is swampy and wet, full of birds and wildlife. A lot of crows out. There's always a lot of crows in this area. A lot of beautiful Spanish moss. This area of the park is known as a botanical gardens. There are local plants and also exotic plants from all over the world. There are 30 kinds of palms, 10 varieties of banana trees, 15 types of azaleas, 10 kinds of camellias, and more. And they're all kept in beautiful, pristine condition by the groundskeepers here. And here we go. Bridges and waterways. There used to be boats that went over these waterways, but sadly no more. Even though it's a bit of a hike all the way in the back of the park, I cannot visit Legoland without visiting the Florida Pool. This is a Florida-shaped pool. It spans 100 feet, and it was built by MGM Studios as a set for the 1953 Esther Williams movie, Easy to Love. Other movies that have been filmed here include On an Island with You, Moon Over Miami, and this is Cinerama and hundreds of short features all over the country. It's tough to capture the whole thing. I don't have a wide enough angle, but it's shaped like Florida. You can see the peninsula over here. Don't wanna leave off the panhandle. And then, all the way down to the bottom. See, down there somewhere would be Miami, and we'd be Orlando somewhere up here in the middle. Well, actually, Legoland's not in Orlando, but where I live, Orlando, somewhere over here, hereabouts. It actually looks in a lot better shape than it did last time I saw it, which makes me really happy. 
and just back here in this area you could feel like you're out in nature in florida like in the everglades or something it's a really nice feeling and now that we've seen that let's head back to the park oh that breeze feels incredible there are various meditative and contemplative areas and they're a really nice place to just think and pray or meditate or just soak in the atmosphere and just feel some zen vibes. Back here by the show you can meet Captain Redbeard and Pirate Princess and they've got meet and greet times on these signs so if you're interested in that look for signs like that all over the park oh also shark suit guy cool tomorrow february 12th not only does the new captain brickbeard show start but also pirate fest weekends start that's going to be the weekends of february 12th 20th and 27th there's a whole theme and there will be fun special shows for that as well oh we can hear some coasters i love that creak and sound Legoland, so now I can do it. Everything is awesome. Okay, get that out of my system. Still hobbling a little. Let's head into Lego Ninjago World. I'm here on a Friday and crowds are really low. Crowds obviously tend to be lower on weekdays versus weekends, but even on weekends, it's generally not too bad. And I think that this coming weekend with the pirate festivities and the new show, there may be a little bit more of crowds, but I still think that it's gonna be really nice. And the weather's great. I was hoping to get something from Ninja Kitchen, but it's closed for the day. So we're still on a quest for some food. And there is Burger Kitchen and it is good got basically burgers and fry combos. Burger Kitchen basically has simple options. Burgers, chicken tenders, some chicken sandwiches, and a fish sandwich. There's indoor dining and outdoor, and it is so warm outside that let's see if we can get some indoor dining in the air conditioning. Let's see, we'll try. I got the premium chicken combo, and I was happy that they have iced tea. Just a simple chicken sandwich on a sesame seed bun, some fries, some honey mustard sauce, some iced tea. It's all I need right now. The chicken sandwich doesn't come with cheese, but I asked for it with cheese, and I asked for it without the sauce that comes on it, because it's like a ketchup mayo sauce, and I'm not a fan of ketchup, but mm, I like it just like this. I really wanted to eat something from the food truck in Ninjago World, but it was closed. I did have that on one weekend on the Ninjago weekends. If you want to check that out though, because it's really good. But this will hit the spot right now, so we'll go ahead and eat. All done in there. Nice and satiated. Satiated. <laughs> Ready to face the day again. This is so interesting, and I think it's so cool. It says, Hello, human. I'm part of a community of cats here at Legoland Florida Resort. Thanks to a partnership with the local community, my friends and I are healthy, well-fed, and happy to live outside. Please don't pet or pick us up as we're not pets. Sign Legoland Florida resident cats. You often do see cats, like wild cats, around theme parks, and sometimes people wonder where they come from and what the deal is, and I really like that Legoland has partnered with the local community to keep these cats healthy, make them part of the community, let them be, and also let guests know to also let them be. I think that's great. The stage back here is closed off, but during the Pirate Fest weekends, there's gonna be a show, Treasure Behold. It looks like it's got a fun story going along with the whole Pirate Fest weekends, festivities. It's a really cool stage, so that should be a lot of fun. I love Coaster Saurus. This is a wooden coaster here at Legoland, themed to dinosaurs, and I love dinosaurs, and I love coasters, so there's only a five minute wait, let's do it. I've got my official GoPro 9 Black with official GoPro wrist strap. This is what I use for filming coasters. I use the GoPro in pools and waters as well, but the wrist strap is basically only for coasters. We're permitted, so let's give this a go, pro. <laughs> cool thing about this new GoPro is that it does have a front facing camera so I can actually see what I'm filming when they flip the camera around. Also, I've got hat hair. I've been wearing a hat all day. We're just gonna have to deal with it. 
Let's go ride this coaster. These plexiglass barriers are definitely new to the queue since last time I rode. All buckled in. Yeah, here we go. the chain pulling the coaster up the lift hill it's just so much fun it's nothing crazy it's just really really fun that's all there is to it you can even see the wood shaking One of the big instructions going on is that Miniland USA is going to have a big shaded covering over it. I think this is awesome because it can get so hot in that area, but it's so cool looking at all the different cities built out of Legos. I love looking at Miami, Orlando, New York, Las Vegas. There's just, they even have um, Kennedy Space Center in there. It's really, really cool. I've shown it in other videos, but I think next time I show it, it's gonna look like that and be undercover. And I'm really, really excited for that. I think it's so smart. It's so guest forward, thinking about guest experience and keeping people from just melting in the sun. So I look forward to that and that's gonna be part of their 10th anniversary. And this is where you would normally head into Miniland to see 32 million Lego bricks, recreating landmarks from seven famous cities around the United States. It's under construction. So here's the construction wall. Oh my gosh, you can see part of it. They're gonna cover all of this up. I don't know what other sprucing they might do, but I'm really excited to see it. And there are a lot of fun rides here at Legoland. If you wanna see more about Legoland Florida, I have done quite a few videos and shown more of the rides and shows here. All you have to do is go into the YouTube search bar and put super enthused Legoland Florida and several videos will come up. And if you're watching this in the future, by then I may have been to the Legoland in England, other Legolands, who knows around the world. So just try putting super enthused Legoland and see what else comes up. I have been to some UK theme parks and Disneyland Paris, and I plan to do a lot more international parks, attractions, destinations, tons of fun stuff. So who knows what'll be out there in the future. But for right now, I've covered Legoland Florida, and there is still so much more to do here on future visits, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new, please subscribe to join in all the future fun to come. Thank you so much to Legoland for inviting me out today to get a full preview of the brand new Brickbeard's Water Sports Stunt Show. Can't forget the name when you're wearing the hat. And thank you so much for the hat. I love it. I didn't have a Legoland hat, so now I've got one to wear whenever I visit. You know, they're really important in that Florida sun. I tell you what, a hat can really, really help to protect you from that blazing Florida sun that's pretty much year round. So again, the brand new Brickbeard Water Sports Stunt Show starts tomorrow, February 12th, and that should be the day when this video is released. And that's also the kickoff of these Pirate Fest weekends. So if you want to visit one, Check the Legoland website. Tickets here are very, very affordable. They have specials all the time too. If you go to their website, like they have Florida resident deals, they have all sorts of deals and you get a lot for your money at a park like this. And it actually genuinely is a lot of fun. There's rides for kids, rides for adults, fun coasters. And especially when there are special events like Ninjago Days was the last one I went to and it was really fun and they had special food, entertainment, characters, music. 
and I am picturing the same for Pirate Fest. So I hope you're able to make it out to check this out and I hope you enjoyed seeing the show with me. I'm just standing right in front of Coaster Stores because I love watching it go by. And I hope it brought you a little bit of Florida sunshine and fun and I also love sharing the Cypress Gardens portion of the park with you. The history, the nature, all of that's there. I just love that Legoland preserves that and that it translates into the water sports shows because as I said earlier, water skiing is a huge part of the beginnings of Cypress Gardens and it's a huge part of the promotion that Florida tourism of how they got people here. The whole Florida tourism corridor has a long and interesting history. Legoland is keeping some of that alive and also bringing a new fun and atmosphere. So that's a wrap on today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am sending you all lots and lots of love. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you again for the next video. And until then, as always, remember, everything is awesome and stay enthused. Bye.